Hey guys, uh, this is Project Slanny, and in this episode, we are going to see what's up here. But first, let me beat these um, unavoidable trainers, pretty much. I mean, well, these where I'm standing, I think they're unavoidable, so. Yeah, let's just beat them really quick. This guy has like a Knight of King. Yeah. Something like that. And I think the other guy has like a Knight of Queen or like a Tongue. I'm not really sure. Oh, shit. Good thing I have a Maxa, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys, I really don't wanna go all the way down there right now. Probably could have beat him with strength, but you know what? I don't know. I want my dig. I like the dig, so yeah. I got hot chocolate. I'm drinking it. I had some issues editing the last video. Cause you see, I like to um record them and render them right away, like edit them, you know, put stuff together. Camtasia kept crashing on me. As much as I love it, I gotta focus on what's playing right now, not drinking my fucking chocolate. Okay, that's bullshit. Aw, oh, mom! Okay, cool. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys. Sorry for that. Um, I'm gonna meet you guys back before we head up north. And, um, yeah. This is a shiny Venonat. Oh my god. This thing is not getting away. I don't give a shit. Honestly. Squidward. Oh my god. How am I going to catch this fucking thing? Maybe, uh... Wait, no, no, no. It's not a good strategy. We have to catch this thing. This is a shiny Pokemon. Like, are you fucking serious? Ah, uh, shit. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um. Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do now. Uh. You fucking kidding me? Oh, shit, this is recording! No! Okay, okay, um... Don't kill it in one shot, please! Don't kill it in one shot, don't kill it, don't kill it! Oh, thank god. Okay, because Obsidian, I think he has the worst attack. So, he's gonna have to do... Oh, come on, come on, we haven't done shit. Whole episode. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, we're gonna catch him, okay? And then we'll look at how pretty he is later. Okay? Because I got I got a lot of shit to do in this episode, but I honestly was not planning, obviously, on running into a shiny Pokemon, so... Whatevs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright, uh, you know what? Uh, no. Naked. Naked. We haven't seen you in a while. You and your naked glory. Come on, naked glory. Okay. Come on. Oh my god, I, I feel so nervous. I feel like I'm accidentally... I'm gonna, like, miss a step and, like, accidentally kill this thing. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. This is actually happening off screen, and I was gonna run away from it. I thought it was a regular Venonat because I was speed speeding through it, and freaking the fucking thing. I was like, wait a minute, they don't have blue. So I made a save state, and I looked on the Pokédex, and they have red eyes, not blue eyes. So this is a shiny one. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? Can you imagine if I ran away from a shiny Pokémon in this Let's Play? I'd be like the first person to do that. Yeah, see, they have red eyes. 
that one had blue eyes. That's so cool. No. Well, you know what, guys? You guys are going to choo choose the name of this Venonat. Because I don't know what to name them. I was not expecting on picking up a Venonat, but apparently if it's shiny, might as well. Okay? So let's snake around these peoples. <gasps> God damn it. Wait, maybe it's a shiny Pokemon. It's not. Okay. Let's go. Can't believe I actually ran into a shiny Pokemon in this last fight. I was watching Chugga Conroy's Crystal playthrough, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I'm gonna run into any shinies. Oh man, this episode's gonna drag on a little longer than it has to, isn't it? Let's just do what we gotta do, and... The Gyarados are angry. Yeah, that one looks pretty pissed. Now... Wait, she's the one with the pink butterfly. I already thought this was cool. Did my eyes see me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Yeah, well, apparently we're going to be encountering two shiny Pokemon this episode. Um, yeah, I'm going to catch this thing. Just like Sudowoodo, I don't care how it knows- I'm going to save state. I'm going to catch this thing. That's my challenge. I want to catch all the Pokemon. Like Lapras and uh, sorry if you saw my mouse for a second. I was making save state. Like Lapras or anything, and man, here we go. Go Yosha. That's totally not what he's fucking saying, but okay. Seems legit. And that's look at how pretty that is. It's done. One stop shop. I don't care how fucking long this episode goes for. And I have a feeling I'm going to be making cuts and speeding up and just... Ugh. Okay, guys, sorry, I got distracted, but okay. So we're going to paralyze him. And hopefully we don't kill him. Because he's half flying. See, fun thing about Gyarados, another fun fact, is... And I fucking killed it. Ugh! Alright. You're going to be seeing a lot of save states opened. It's the only time I'm going to show you guys, honestly. Okay. Wait. <gasps> no! Okay, guys, Gayasha is definitely not the sound it makes. Sorry if this, the flow of my commentary is a little fucked up, but I'm a little scatterbrained, and last time I kind of botched up a little. I'm going to make a little save state right here. This is the only time you're going to be seeing me do this. Let me save over nine. Okay. Yeah, because I'm using a uh, visual boy. And honestly, this is the only way I'm going to do it. So we're going to paralyze him to keep him from attacking me and killing me. Because honestly... And now let's, uh... Is there anything we can bring down the fence with? I mean, uh, offense. Let's see. Tail whip. Cut. Roll out. Strength. Why don't we flash him a hundred times? I mean, this is the strategy I'm gonna use, because obviously in the game you have a one-shot thing, but... Now I'm gonna speed up, alright? Okay, did what I could. I'm sending out Squidward see what he can do. He can't do shit. Okay. Um, let's send out Naked. Hopefully he doesn't kill him again, otherwise I'm going to be really pissed.
Oh shit, it's confused too. Okay, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to break them down. We're gonna have to break them down, what else can I say? I mean, if he kills himself, I'm gonna be really angry. You know what, let's try it now, just in case. Just in case. Um, April. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, shit, no. Oh, it appeared to be captured, what? Okay, okay. Let's, uh, use tackle. Ugh. She's tackle again. Oh, nope. It was a miss. Fully paralyzed. Good. Stay like that. Stay like that. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Shit, I should've got some potions. Ah, shit. Almost. 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 Come on. Come on. We can do it. We can do it in two tries. Let's do it. Come on. Two tries. Two tries. Two tries. Two tries. Two tries. Two tries! Two tries. Two fucking tries. Two shinies captured in one video. That's pretty fucking epic. Even though I'm tripping all over my words. And, um, I'm not gonna name him. Actually, my heart gold, I actually use my red Gyarados. And my brother hates that thing. Because it tears people up. And I got a red scale. I'll show you guys what that does in the next video. Who, who's that guy in the black cape? Is he gonna rob me again? Come on, man. Show me your rad tatties. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else... So the magic carp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're slammy? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard yeah, you're just a trainer. I I think I've heard of you before. I heard some rumors, so I came to the vet to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Slammy. I can tell that you're a trainer. With considerable skill. No well, no shit, I just captured a fucking level 35 red Gyarados. Excellent. I mean, if you say no, he just stands there and reads the sign again. So it's nothing like funny, like oh, you're you're an asshole or anything like that. Something about radio signals making the magic carp go cray cray, and he just teleports. I wish I could just teleport like that, but apparently I can't. Let's see what this old guy says, because he just witnessed that and he's just standing there, with his hands behind his back. The Gyarados are angry. Oh, you say the same thing. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay. Let's, uh, let's fly. Let's fly on a dead bird. Mahogany Town. Okay. Let's look at this Gyarados we just caught, man. This is... I mean, it's not even gonna be half as bad pseudo-woodo fight, to be completely honest with you. It really isn't. Look, see? Here's one shiny. These two shinies we catch in one video. That is sick. That is absolutely sick. See, attack 88. Speed's not too bad for a, uh, a what do you call it? A gar- you know, war type Pokemon. He was supposed to- I think I was trying to explain before. He was supposed to be a water and dragon type, but in the first generation they felt like that was way too overpowered because the only dragon moves they had was Dragon Rage and Twister. Twister, as you know, is a weak ass move. It's pretty much the fire spin of dragon type moves. And Dragon Rage, no matter what Pokemon you have, only does 40 damage. It doesn't matter if it's weak against dragon, it's only gonna do 40 damage. And that's pretty good, that is pretty devastating if you have, somehow, have a Dratini in the beginning of the game. But, I mean, that that's a one stop, you know, that's a one shot kill. But, honestly, later on in the game, it's shit. It does nothing for you. You're better off teaching it Fly, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, any of that bullshit. Because it's just, it's not gonna help you out, okay? So let's, um, 
Let's go look at our Venonat in battle. I, I just want to show off the animation for, uh, what do you call it? Yay! The one time I'm happy about a random battle. Okay. I don't even know when to stop in this video because it's going to be kind of... Alright, ready? 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 Epic. Epic! That is so fucking cool. And sorry, but I'm not going to use you. I mean, I'm sorry, but Venonat's kind of a shitty Pokemon. I mean, Venomoth is okay. I've never really used it. <coughs> but to be quite frank with you, I'm not really a Venomoth fan. And yeah, so you know what? Fuck it. Let's just, uh. Alright, oh, shit out of somebody. And that Charizard he just had out was actually a Dragonite, but it looks like a fucking Charizard. What took you, Slammy? Just as I thought that strange radio signal was coming from here. Wait, did I just read that wrong? The stairs are right here. How the hell did he know that? Slammy, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Okay, cool. You and your level 40 Dragonite. What are you saying? Arg, you found a secret stairway. Does this kind of remind you of a certain game corner? Um, section in the beginning. The beginning, wow. The guy's dragon Pokemon are tough. Well, no shit, they're dragon Pokemon. But yeah, this, this is like pretty much the same thing as the game corner fiasco. And look, look what happens. I'm just gonna show one of these fights because it's the same fucking thing over and over and over and over. Drowsy, Zubat, I, Voltorb, what else did he use? Uh, you know, the typical rocket type Pokemon. I think you see like a grunt would have. They're, this is all it is. And every time you walk in front of a statue, they attack you. It sounds an alarm. There's like fucking 30 trainers on the first floor. It's ridiculous. And then you have those scientists, yes, see a Zubat, and they're ridiculously weak. I mean, this is just, I mean, that, a trainer for like a level 19 Zubat is just kind of like pathetic at this point in the game. There is really no threat to these guys at all. They're just annoying, but, you know, just because I'm like OCD with fighting every trainer, pretty much, I fight them all. But, yeah, so... I think I'm leaning on my mic. Uh, sorry if I got quiet for a second. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut these battles and I'm just gonna make my way as far as I can through the dungeon. I'm gonna go to 25 minutes where it says, oh shit, it's two trainers. Oh, god damn it. I, I thought it was only one trainer. I guess I remembered wrong. To be honest. Oh, I don't like to think about this part of the game because this part of the game like, I like the storyline with Rock Team Rocket and everything, but oh my god, it is so annoying. Like, oh man. I think, like, like this is how our epic episode is gonna end off, probably. With me fucking beating Zubats. And I might just zip right through this guy. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So you know what? When I'm done, I'll just meet you back on the floor. And it's gonna be a cut fest. So, oh yeah, and they have grimers too. Alright, so I'll see you back on the floor. Okay, yeah, let's look at the Persian. It's a Persian statue. Its eyes are oddly shiny. Hmm, I wonder why. And as you can see, they are everywhere. See? Right here. Okay, guys, let's fight this guy. Because apparently he's so special, he don't have to jump out at you. I think this is like the, the lazy one. That just doesn't do anything. Like, he could have totally jumped me. I could have been outnumbered with, like, a million Zubats. I mean, I'd still win, because, you know, playing Pokemon's only, like, the fifth best thing I do. But, yeah, this guy's just got Rattat. It's just because he stands alone, it doesn't mean he's any special than the rest. So, you know what? I'm just gonna keep speeding up. And you're dead. Now, if you're wondering what this is over here... 
pretty much Pokemon are stuck in the floor and they come out at you. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Every, like, black step, a Pokemon jumps out. It can be like a Voltorb or, you know, some shit like that. It's nothing really too much. It's just more of annoying a nuisance. If, like, if you want to try to take the shortcut to the staircase. And, yeah. You see, I don't know where I want to cut this episode. Because there's... Honestly, like, I'm going to record so much. But I'm probably only going to get, like, three minutes out of it. And this is where it's going to get... Oh, shit! My mouse is in the middle of the... I'm sorry about that. I had a pop-up in the middle of my fucking recording. And, oh, I don't want to go over there yet. Oh, I don't want to go down there either. Let's just fight this guy. And as any attack item is... A hyper potion! Yay! Let's see what's down here. Another statue! Cool. Them is in here. Like a nugget. Like, you can sell all this shit for a high price. And I'm kind of broke, not gonna lie. Okay. All they've had is Grimer. Like, the second trainer that comes along. The only thing he's had is, like, a Grimer. A Zubat and a Drowsy. Yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna fight this guy. This guy just has Magnemites. He's nothing special. We're gonna find a lot of these scientist guys. That's literally all they have, so I'll meet you there. On second thought, I think I'm just gonna show this one fight. Granted, he doesn't have a million Zubats or something like that, but I'm just gonna show pretty much what he has. And that's... Like, if you've seen one scientist Jed, you've seen them all. So, you know, see what did I tell you? Magnemite is probably gonna have like a Drowsy and like an, a Voltorb or another Magnemite or something like that. Sonic Boom doesn't do shit. And he's dead. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you the second Pokemon, and then I'm just going to cut. Did you guys seen me kill these things before? There was really no reason for me to keep showing you Magnemites. Peace. And what do we get for this? We get a... X actu accuracy. I haven't had to use that any X anything since the first gym battle. Cool. And why can't? Are you saying I'm too fat to fit through those fucking trees? Why do you have trees in here, bro? You and your little freaking Windows 97 down there. Ugh. Let's just get out off this floor, man. And it's like a five or six floors of this shit. Like, I can't deal. I'm just gonna take the stairs. I usually just take the stairs before I start fucking around with the, uh... What do you call it? The teleport pads? Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Cool, he has super juice on him. He's got steroids. Let's give it our best for our Pokemon. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna handle the floor. And I think these people are actually a little different. Oh, I wanted to use a tentacle. Alright, I'm just gonna show this battle so I don't end this episode off on an awkward note. Because I'm up to 30 minutes recording time. And I know it's just a botch fest, so there's a lot of recording. I'm looking forward. <sighs> I'm looking forward to, so... I mean, I had a bit of an accident before, so, yeah, let's, you know what, no, no, that's not what we're gonna do, I changed my mind, see, because there's something else, we, we need to end this off on an epic note, I mean, we had an epic battle, we got into a new storyline, and... And you know what? We need to end it off on a big note. There's something I want to do. Something I was going to do in the last episode. But, it was for not. So, give me a second. I'm going to cut this out. Trainer. 
Cool. That's what exactly what I needed right now. Okay, fight me. See, I'm gonna make you famous, bro. You're gonna be on my YouTube channel. You're gonna be that grunt I actually fought in this gym. The gym, wow. In this dungeon. And oh, you you had to be that guy and only have one. Okay, well at least it's a gold bat. So, yeah, see sometimes they mix it up. Sometimes they throw you a gold bat, but it's really it's the same thing constantly. It's very boring, very tiring. Thank God I have a speed up bud. I'm yawning right now. Before I was like screaming. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, blue venonet. Come on. Drown you. I'm drowning you. Fear my tentacles. Get out of here. Here we go. Is it is it is it meant to be? Oh, hell no. Rap's a shitty move. If you teach your Pokemon rap, I'm seriously judging you right now. Like, I'm side-eyeing the shit out of you through the computer screen. Because rap, I find absolutely no use for rap. Oh, Squidward's evolving. This is how we needed to end the episode. What? Wait, was it last episode that I was trying to evolve him? Or this one? I don't know. For some reason, I thought he evolved at level 28. But look at that. I'm sorry, but Tentacool is probably one of the coolest Pokemon there is. I love Tentacool. I rarely ever use him, but... Dude, I just said no, I didn't want to learn rap, and you're going to ask me again? Are you fucking serious? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off because I d just did a lot of shit, and I have a lot of editing to do. So I will see you guys next time, and hopefully we'll get through this dungeon, because it's shorter than I remember it.